Friday heat. The muzzle will vocalize and the pup will return her call. Another way sea lions identify each other is through a breast exchange. And this behavior looks kind of like a sea lion kiss. Pop her up. Sea lions belong to the large group of animals called the pinnipeds. And this includes the walruses, ear seals, and the true seals. Now I'm pretty sure everyone here knows what a walrus looks like. But it can be pretty tricky to tell the difference between an ear seal and a true seal. So we're going to give you a few pointers. First, take a look at this. All these adaptations make sea lions extremely mobile on land. gets upset, and the whole food chain gets threatened. <laughs> That's right, dude. As weird as it sounds, we need sharks. In fact, all species rely on each other in order to survive. <laughs> in the wild, sea lions spend a large part of the day in the water, hunting for fish and avoiding predators like sharks. They use a method of swimming called porpoising, which is where they jump out of the water, take a really deep breath, and dive back into the water, continuing their forward momentum. Using this method of swimming, they can reach speeds up to 15 miles per hour, which is a great form of physical exercise. But life at an aquarium is a little bit more laid back. See what I mean? <laughs> I mean, think about it. They don't have to worry about sharks. They get plenty of fish, and their trainers cater to them all day long. So much so that if we weren't careful, let's just say our animals could get a little bit out of shape. <laughs> that is really dude. That's why we've set up an animal enrichment program. Enrichment enhances the animal's quality of life and comes in many forms. This item right here is just one of Duke's favorites. And sometimes it's hard to tell who has more fun with this kind of training, the animals or their trainers. Another form of enrichment is training. Training compels our animals to think through...